So in this article, we analyzed a previous AI EKG algorithm for the detection of heart failure in patients. And then we asked the question, does this algorithm have any predictive ability of mortality in patients who undergo cardiac surgery? My name is Abdullah Mahaney, a medical student, and I was the first author on this article. EKG-based artificial intelligence algorithm aids prediction of long-term mortality following cardiac surgery. And this article will appear in the December 2021 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings. What we checked was, let's take all the patients who did cardiac surgery between 1993 and 2019 at Mayo Clinic uh, and split them into two groups. One where the EKG said it was bad, EKG predicted that they have heart failure, versus one where the EKG said no, their EKG results are normal. So normal on EKG versus abnormal on EKG. And then we checked, well, how long did those patients survive? And the answer was, there is a difference between those two groups. If the EKG said that, you're, uh, that you have heart failure, then you are likely to die faster than the patients whose EKG said, no, they're fine, they're normal. Patients who had a normal AI EKG screen had a probability of survival at five years of 86%, whereas patients with an abnormal AI EKG screen had a probability of survival at five years of 71%. At 10 years, the pattern held with 68% for the normal AI EKG screen group and 45% survival in the abnormal AI EKG screen group. But then we asked the question, well, we already know that there's some basic predictors of death after cardiac surgery. Those include heart failure. Um, do you have a history of a heart attack or not? Do you have a history of heart failure or not? Do you have a history of dialysis? Do you have anemia? Do you have a, uh, any chronic lung disease? And um, we thought maybe this algorithm is just capturing that general state of health, and it's not really adding anything on top of that. So what we did was we ran a, a special kind of analysis called a Cox regression analysis that allowed us to see how much do different factors in the patient's history account for their survival long-term uh, and medium-term as well. And what we discovered was that, in fact, those factors, those old factors, were certainly impactful. However, the AI algorithm had an independent effect. In other words, it had an independent predictive ability for long-term patient mortality. Having demonstrated that this artificial intelligence test does have an independent uh, predictive value for medium and long-term patient mortality, we then ask the question, okay, is this different in subgroups? Some patients, not all patients who have heart surgery have the same kind of heart surgery. Some patients have bypass surgery only. Some people have valve surgery only, and some people have both together. Well, when we did to ask, is this algorithm meaningful in all of those patients, uh, in those different patient populations was we re-ran the analysis on those three subpopulations. And it turned out, yes, even within those subpopulations, the algorithm output, the heart failure EKG algorithm does have a predictive uh, value. So now let me ask, okay, what can we do with this right now? How does this benefit providers and how does it benefit surgeons, cardiac surgeons, cardiologists, and also patients? Well, previous research on mortality following cardiac surgery has been focused on short-term mortality, 30-day mortality, instead of long-term mortality to one year, five years, or 10 years. And although 30-day mortality is certainly um, important to analyze, it's also important to look at long-term mortality in making these decisions on behalf of patients. So our, what this research allows us to do is ask this question, how does this patient look like in five years versus 10 years, given what we know about their cardiac history and their history overall with all sorts of other uh, background knowledge, given what we know about their age, their gender, 
and their cardiac history and otherwise. So having this algorithm, having this model that we have right now and using this algorithm, we can, show, we can say maybe cardiac surgeons would benefit from including this algorithm uh, in part of their decision-making for whether a patient should or should not undergo cardiac surgery. And also patients would benefit from knowing not only will I survive for 30 days and will my symptoms improve, but more than that, what does my prognosis look like for five years and for 10 years down the line? So that's basically the idea of this paper. For future research, we would like to assess whether other algorithms that are based on EKG have any predictive value on mortality as well as this one, and whether this algorithm can help us predict mortality in other populations of patients, such as patients undergoing cardiac procedures like MitraClip or TAVR. We invite you to read our article for further details and insights on AI in cardiology. Thank you for your attention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter more information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.